Buenos días, amigos. Buenos días, amigos. Buenos días, amigos. I'm a bit shy, everybody. Oh no, not again. Oh well, we'll do a quick good morning and then we've got something fun to do. Hi, everyone. <gasps> <laughs> Hi everybody, Caroline and Alice are here with another little Mexican theme good morning time. Today is, what day is it today? Can you remember, Ali? Tuesday. Tuesday, that's right. Today is Tuesday the 19th of May. Now, some of you might have noticed and something yesterday. I know something. Caroline got the date wrong. I know, you do just hang on a second. Caroline got the date wrong One, yesterday. Two, Did three, you guys notice? Five. Were you all too polite to say? Nine, silly, nine, silly me. Well, today is the 19th day of Nueve. And the day in Spanish is Martes. 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 Yes, it's Martes, Diez in Nueve, May. So it's the Tuesday, the 19th of May. And we have been learning a little bit more about how Mexican people enjoy Hi. partying and how they do really fun things Come when they have parties, including having something that's behind me. I've got a very plain one behind me, but what is that that's hanging from the ceiling, Ali? A piñata. A piñata. We've made a piñata. Uh, I made a little video to tell you how to make a piñata, and that's coming on right now. It's with, it's with. Hola, amigos. This week we are learning about Mexico in our class. And we are learning about how people in Mexico enjoy a party. Um, we absolutely love having parties in our class. And I thought this would make an extra special party thing. It's a Mexican piñata. And I'm going to make it out of a cereal box and mostly just things that I had lying around the house. I've got a cereal box, some string, some wrapping paper, any kind of wrapping paper will do. And I've got some sellotape and scissors here. And I've got some things to put inside my piñata. Now, if you've ever seen a piñata party before, um, what happens is it's a special big round or square shape and it's filled with treats and toys and confetti and exciting things for children to play with. And what happens is it's hung up high and the boys and girls take turns hitting the piñata until it bursts open and all the treats come spilling out. So we're going to do an at-home version of this and it doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. I had to be rummage around our house today and just picked out a few things that I thought Alice might be quite excited about getting. One of the things I found was a bottle of bubbles. So I'm going to put that inside my cereal box. I've also got a little cake bar for her because she loves them. And I found a little pink highlighter pen. I thought she would really like that. So I'm going to put that in too. And a little pad of post-its for her to play with too. And I found a chocolate bunny that we had left over from Easter. So I'm going to put that in as well. Nothing fancy because all the fun with a piñata really is playing with it. So it doesn't really matter what's inside. I did find some little tissue squares though. So I thought that could look quite fun coming out of it. So I'm gonna put my tissue squares inside and I've got a few pom-poms too. So I'm gonna put all these inside and hopefully when the piñata bursts open, there'll be some nice colorful confetti coming out of it. Okay, that's all the stuff in my piñata. And now the next thing I'm going to do is wrap it. But for right now, I'm gonna leave it open while I wrap it. And I'm going to do this open bit last because I'm going to have to put some string through the top and sometimes it's helpful to be able to put your hand inside and pull the string through. But first thing I'm gonna do is wrap up my pinata box. So find some more confetti, I'll pop that in. Okay. And then put the paper over. The paper I've got today has some nice stars on it. I had to do a little last minute run up into the loft to see what we had. And thankfully I had some, but I would have used Christmas paper, would have been absolutely fine. Wallpaper would be cool too. Um, newspaper would actually look really, really funny. And remember with things like newspaper, um, you can uh, paint it. So that can make it extra special. I've seen some really, really jazzy pinatas before in all sorts of different shapes. Some people go really elaborate with their tissue paper and things like that. It's just a simple pinata. 
It doesn't have to be anything really, really fancy. Okay, so I've wrapped, whoops, the first bits. Okay. And just seal that up at the top. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my open pinata here and it's all wrapped up nicely at this end. So this is the moment actually I'm gonna put my string through the pinata um, just so that I can feed it through if I put my hand up if I need to. So I'm gonna use actually a pen, just a pen or a sharp pen, so probably just about do the trick. And I'm gonna make a couple of holes somewhere round about here maybe. There we go. One hole there. And one roughly the same side. Same place on the other side. There we go. Now this is a kind of garden string I've got. You could use wool, um, shoelaces maybe, anything at all. So I'm just going to put my hand in just now and find the hole on the other side. Once I've done that I can close it up. It's actually the trickiest bit I think. Oh I think I've got it. Just about. Okay, there we go. There we are. Right. Okay, so now I've got a kind of handle for my pinata. So I'm going to close it up. So I'm going to close up the cereal box bit first, but I'm not going to make it really. I'm going to kind of put the flaps over like I normally would if I was putting cereal away in the cupboard. But it doesn't have to be super, super secure because we want it to burst open once it gets hit a few times. So just kind of loosely close it like that. And again with the paper, I'm going to put the paper over, but I'm not going to put lots of sellotape on it. So I want it to be able to open up. Don't want to have to hit it a hundred times. Just a few things is fine. There we go. So I'll just put um, a couple of little pieces actually. Just little squares of, tissue, of a tape. Just to secure it like that. And hopefully, when it comes time to smacking it, all the nice goodies will come falling out. Okay, so my pinata, there we go, is about ready to hang. Now, it does look quite plain. You could definitely add some extra decoration to yours if you like, like some streamers, even like strips for magazines or anything cut thinly and have them um, hanging around the bottom would look really cool. Just something really simple. There's no need to make this um, really fancy or really, really complicated. It's just a little bit of Mexican fun. So um, that's how I've made my piñata, but there's lots of different ways you can do it. And if you go online and search for DIY piñata, you will see thousands of different ways to do it. So have fun experimenting if you fancy trying at home. And I think the next thing we're gonna be doing is trying to crack this baby open. So <laughs> wish us luck. And we're going to see you right after this. Adios. Okay, everyone, we have got our sticks at the ready. I have got a little broom and Alice has a big stick from outside. And it's time to whack the piñata. Oh, my goodness. Ah! <laughs> now, this could all go horribly wrong. Right, are we ready? I might have to hold the piñata steady, actually, because I don't want it to pull the light fixtures down. But Alice is the main one going to be hitting it anyway. So... It's party time. Now, in Mexico, they might do this blindfolded, but I think that's asking for One, trouble in our house, so two, we're just going to do it three. being able to they see. Go, okay. Uno, dos, tres, go! Oh, she's 
find our barney bear. She's so excited. We are going to have, yes, we're going to have a wee look at some of the things that were in our pinata. How about we have an there is a wee video. bit of a mess on the floor, but how about we have an eating hey video? Alice wants to do an eating video, but I think you guys can probably do without um, that. So. Let's share something for eating. Oh, we'll do good sharing. That's a really good you, idea. I'll share this with you. And I'll share this with you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Alice. We're gonna have our little snacks and enjoy our pinata prizes, and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Adios, amigos. Uh, oh yes, do you want to say adios? A rabble thing. Say adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Bye. Bye.